don't you? I've been your host, Tony Williams, and this is on. You are now listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bringing you the unfiltered news and information. This is Let's Talk News Report. Well, hello, everyone. This is Tony Williams, and you're listening to On One Radio. And yes, I am bringing you today's unfiltered news information and opinion. Now, today's news is, well, we've, everybody's heard this, about the Corona Stimulus Package Program. However you want to call it, most everyday people like you and me call it a check. That's what, that's what we call it. Now, it was not that many days ago that this even really just blew up real big on the news and everything. And there are so many questions out there about it. Like, that's all I'm seeing are questions. Like, when are the checks coming? How much would, how much will they be for? How often will we get them? What happens if I'm on Social Security or disabled? What happens if I'm... I don't make enough to even pay taxes. So is it just for taxpayers and everything? But you know what? Those are all really important questions because it affects everyone. The coronavirus has impacted the entire world. Now, this news is mainly for the United States because that's whose plan this is and who it's for. Now, outside of there, I'm not sure. I pray for everyone to be safe and that their governments step up and possibly come up with a similar program or something better for them because everyone across the globe does, in fact, need help, especially financial help at the moment because everybody's pretty much on damn lockdown. Let's just be honest about it. Everybody's at home. Most people who that have jobs, they either have to work from home or are basically temporarily suspended or temporarily laid off, you know, to the coast is clear. And we can't exactly get mad about it because those are human beings who fear getting it as well because they have families to take care of as well. So their health and safety does really matter in this case. So a lot of businesses are having to make different arrangements. now. But about this check is so many questions and you have people out there want to know how do they sign up for payments is there a form how will the government know where to send the money what if i just moved what if i just lost my place and i'm homeless what do i do will low income people you know have a place in this what's what's really going down what's what's really happening And it really depends on whether any final legislation gives an identical amount to every person or gives it out based on factors like income and family size. But the good side of this is that the Treasury Department did indeed propose it. And we've received more information on it, but a lot of people still have more questions. Now... Already, Congress has passed the virus legislation beefing up funding for public health programs, for food stamps, and school lunches. Now, that legislation also amped up unemployment insurance and insurers paid family and sick leave for employees of small businesses. So they are, in fact, really making some Steps. They're taking some steps so the government hasn't just completely abandoned us or forgot about about anyone. They're actually making some effort. And one of the other questions that I ran across was, what if I currently owe the government money in taxes? Will that count against me? But like I say, it's a lot of good questioning. Now, recently, the last question has been, the most relevant question has been, who will be eligible for the coronavirus checks under the Senate's plan? Now, we are talking about the direct payments to Americans 
would be means tested, you know, and depend on their income. And with a lot of people out of work right now, that would really help them. I'm all for helping anyone. Now, the plan was unveiled Thursday by Senate to provide direct cash assistance to help Americans hurt by the virus pandemic, who in turn would send checks of up to 1200 per person in one-time payment. And payments would be, of course, income-based. Now, under the plan, the details were revealed that individuals making up to $75,000 annually would be eligible for a $1,200 check from the federal government. Now, the cash would be delivered in a one-time payment. Now, President Trump and Secretary of the Treasury Stephen Munchen had in recent days pushed for Americans to get two payments. I don't know how how true that is because it's, it's kind of hard to believe because we're dealing with Trump, but that's what's being stated. Now, married couples who file their taxes jointly would have to make less than 150 grand to qualify for their payment, which would be a $2,400 check, $2,400. From there, according to, according to McConnell's proposal, the payments would decrease. Now, that's for individuals. The sum of the payment will fall by $5 for each $100 earned over a $75,000 limit. Now, the payment would phase out entirely for individuals making more than 99000 annually, meaning people who make more than that would not get any money from the government. Now, that's according to the proposal. Now, for married couples earning more than one hundred and fifty grand, the payment would also decline gradually, and it would pretty much completely phase out for couples making more than 198000 that's also according to the plan. Now, the checks, however, would reduce to 600 or 1200 for married couples for taxpayers who have little or no income tax liability but have at least $2,500 in qualifying income. Of course, according to the GOP summary of the plan. Which, it still leaves a lot of questions. Now, individuals and couples with children would be eligible for an additional 500 per kid that they have. Now, it said that these recommendations would blunt the impact for most Americans and limit the damage to the U.S. economy. Now, that's based on the Senate, the Senate Finance Committee Chairman, Chuck Grassley. Now, these recommendations recommendations wouldn't be the end of congressional response to coronavirus. Now, the income levels the government would review to make the cash payout determinations would be based on the 2018 tax returns, McConnell stated. So, that kind of that kind of covers a wide range of citizens right there because that would really help and hopefully it I'll be able to answer the question of when now as more news comes out I will definitely get that out to you guys but I, I needed to get that out there so you would know so help is on its way everyone and we're praying for all those who have been affected by this virus and we pray for your well-being. So until next time, this has been your Let's Talk News Report. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the Let's Talk News Report. I wish you the best and don't end up on the news over dumb shit. I've been your host, Tony Williams. And this is On One Radio, the talk show podcast station.